everyone, and welcome to GeoSavan Replay. Uh, this is a roundtable discussion uh, with some of the best and most notable podcasters uh, in the country here in India. My name is Sanjay Maniktala, and I want to welcome all of you. December has always been a time to reflect on the year that was, and through the ups and downs that we have all seen this year, um, GeoSavan would like to celebrate with you with GeoSavan Replay, and we hope to kind of reflect on what it means to be a creator and also what it means to be a podcast listener. Today, we're doing a roundtable specifically for the podcasting industry, and we're so happy all of you could join us. And with me today, I have three very notable um, podcasters uh, from the country. First off, um, I have uh, Nidhi Basu. Uh, hi, Nidhi. How are you? Hi, Sanjay. All good. Great to be here. I'm very happy to have you here. And Nidhi, we'll get to you uh, in just a second. Uh, we have uh, Runal as well, Runal Pandit. How are you, Runal? Hey, hi, Sanjay. Great to be here on the show along with my co panelists. Very happy to have you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And last but not least, um, we have uh, the Mumbai boy, uh, Mr. Rakesh Tiwari. How are you, Ra uh, Rakesh? All good, Sanjay. Just chilling out and outdoors. So, literally, there's no electricity. So everything shut down. I thought I'll just get to my local garden and do this in outskirts. And what a lovely weather it has been. Wonderful. So thank you. And what a, what a lovely way to listen to a podcast just outside, you know, in the ah. park when there's no electricity, right? <laughs> so close to nature. That's the closest that you can get to nature in honor. <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Well, I, I want to thank all of our panelists uh, for being here. And the aim of uh, this conversation today is to talk about. Um, podcasting uh, in our country specifically as it's an exploding medium, as well as talk about uh, the year that was 2020 and from a creator point of view, um, how we are telling stories in India, how we are doing things from a platform perspective, how we are reaching out to the audience. So um, to start with, uh, let's get to know everybody uh, on a more intimate level. Um, so Nidhi, uh, first off, um, if you wouldn't mind, if you could just give us a few minutes introduction to kind of your story. Yeah, sure, um, sure, Sanjay. And what a journey it has been for me, you know, to reach the platform of podcasting. It's been uh, creatively very, very fulfilling. But I must tell you a little bit, very briefly, I'll just tell you where I'm coming from. So I'm actually uh, um, from the garment industry. That was my professional training. I'm from New Delhi. And from there, working in the garment industry, I made a switch in my career, you know. At some point, at a point after seven, eight years of the industry, I, I told myself, no, this is, you know, it's time to move on and let's uh, look for something that is closer to my heart and still make good money. So both the things are important. And uh, then that's where I switched over and I became a voiceover artist. And uh, God's been very, very kind. I had, I've worked with great people. I've done some really good assignments associated with good brands. And yeah, and so it worked out. But uh, I think I had done more than 10 years. By the end of it, I felt that as a commercial voiceover artist, I'm not able to do justice to my innate capabilities. The fact that I love fooling around behind the mic, the, the fact that I'm completely a natural. I hate to bind myself, but I do all that because that's, that's where the, you know, that's my livelihood. And then I started exploring ways, how could I express myself more and in Hindi? Because I am sure. from Hindi heartland and very, very, sure. and, and that's the language. It's, it makes me, uh, you know, want to do more. So I wanted to also do something for Hindi. And then when podcasting came, I knew that it, this was my chance that I could express myself without being bound by certain limitations professionally, that I could do what I wanted. What really kicked me was I knew that it's the young generation that's mostly listening to podcasts. And I mm -hmm. wanted them to listen to good Hindi well-spoken, mm. you know, without any, what should I say? Any gallies, words, yeah. <laughs> No, even bad words. And that's not just Hindi. Hindi is beautifully written by so many literatures. So I wanted to bring those good stories, whether they are old or new, to my podcast. And it's uh, it's been the creatively, I would say, the most fulfilling thing that ever happened to me. That's fantastic. And, uh, and Nidhi, you actually uh, have done some voices for uh, some places that some of our listeners might be aware of, right? <laughs> okay, if you yeah. want to talk about yeah. that. <laughs> so yeah, um, I've been the voice for all the Rajdhanis and Shatabdis in the country, all the 25 luxury trains that run across the length and breadth of the country. 
since 2014. So if, if we listen, if we're listening to you on the train, then we're going places, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so wonderful. Well, that's a that's a great story, and I mean, and your podcast also has stories, right? Obviously, that you share and these sorts of things, and and I think that's fantastic because in India, especially. You know, I come from the comedy background and we started in English, but then you notice people connect a lot more when you speak in the language that people think in and that they share their stories in and they laugh in um, and they emote in. So that's fantastic. Uh, and Munal, uh, hi Munal, how are you? Hey, hi Sanjay, I'm doing fine, thank you. Yeah, and so you are in uh, Bangalore, that's correct? That's right. So would you mind uh, sharing with us uh, a few minutes just on kind of your podcasting journey and how your story has been? Sure. So uh, I'm Rinal Pandit and I'm based on Bangalore. So me and my husband started Gatha Story in early 2016. So as every person in this world, I mean, our life is filled with stories. And as a kid, I was always fascinated with interesting stories. And I used to listen to amazing content from the, I, I would say the best storyteller ever I've heard in my life, my grandfather. So I grew mm. up listening to stories from him. And for a very long period of time, I always wanted to do something in the storytelling space. But education and rest of the other things took me into altogether a different industry that is insurance industry. In 2011, I was introduced to podcasts and I just loved listening to great content. But unfortunately, we didn't find such great content coming out of India in way 2011. So we were listening to a lot of great shows coming out of US and we thought why not create some content in uh, India and that too in Indian languages because we have such great heritage, such great content. And that is how Gatha Story was born in 2016 along with my husband Amar. And uh, we have um, uh, a, a storytelling platform wherein we create content in six Indian languages, that is Telugu, uh, Kannada, Gujarati, Hindi, Marathi, English, and specifically catered to kids and families alike. And the shows are Bal Gatha, Veer Gatha, Fairy Tales of India, and uh, you know, Dev Gatha. So that's, that's been our journey so far. Yeah, and you, and you touched upon uh, one thing that I thought was uh, quite notable, which is since you were saying 2011, you know, podcasting, kind of you got familiar with it. And I think it's important for a lot of people to know, audience and creators, like podcasting when you start, it's like it's a journey because you don't know who's listening, where they're listening, is anybody listening. But can you correct me if I'm wrong, but you had this kind of inclination or you had a hunch that if you do these, they will come, you know? And uh, if, you, if you address these different communities and languages and regions, that things will happen. And for families, not just for young millennials or teenagers. So did you know who the audience would be or did it kind of develop over time? Here in India, we have always grown up listening to stories. So what mm. we felt was listening was a very good medium. Just the way I said, I grew listening to stories from my grandfather. And a lot of people in our generation would have grown that way. Uh, the youngsters I would see, you know, would be watching things on the screen. And because of viewing screen for a longer period of time affected the creativity of the kids. At the same time, their overall, you know, uh, mental uh, health as well. So uh, that's why we thought that parents were looking out because when we used to talk to parents, yeah, they were looking out for some audio content. But most of the time, they didn't have time or they did not know which stories to tell. So that is how we started creating it. And as we started making great evergreen content, and as I say, creating content consistently, that is the key. So that has worked and that is how audience has organically discovered us. So it's, it's been both the ways, you know. And speaking of millennials, uh, we have a very cool uh, millennial, uh, Mr. Rakesh. Namaste. How are you, sir? Thank you, Sanjay. Thank you so much. for. It. And yes, yeah, that, that's how... Uh, you know that that term is being widely used, millennial. So uh, when we started with this poetry podcast, Hindi poetry specifically is being regarded as like if, if I tell something to you that I'm going to recite a Hindi poem, there is a, a cliche that comes to your mind that probably that could be a certain format or a certain language. Uh, there is a certain sanity to to it, or probably a certain section of audience that will understand poetry or uh, probably would listen to it, and that's what we wanted to change. We wanted poetry to be as, uh, uh, what do you say, digestible or consumed by someone who is you know, traveling with airports and you know, listening to it and saying, 
I've, 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 I've gone through this. I've seen this. And that was the whole idea around uh, Millennial Kavi podcast, Millennial Kavi that we created last year. I've been in BPO for uh, that call center for approximately 12 years. I was a chemistry graduate, wanna be RJ, but then got into BPO. 12 years straight, uh, you know, taking calls for an Australian process, getting, at, getting up at around 3 a.m. in the morning, going to shift. And, and every day I, I used to observe things a lot, like how things are in office, how people are, how their behavior is. So past four years, I've been a poet, a storyteller, uh, a spoken word artist. I've been performing poetry on various YouTube channels. And last year, I, I decided to take a leap of faith that let's get into uh, you know, a full mode into writing and, and let's see what it has in store for us. And that's when the podcasting journey with Geo7 began. So Jigger was one of my uh, uh, old friends who uh, is working at Geo7 now. And we reconnected and he said, yeah, uh, you're doing a lot of Hindi poetry, but then sometimes it sounds cliche. My millennial audience wouldn't listen to it. I said, let's create something which, which could cater millennials, which speak uh, you know, we would speak in their language, the way they speak, the mix of Hindi and English, the slang that they use, the terminologies that they use. And that's how Millennial Kavi was born. It, the content has flied since its launch. Like we have close to more than 80,000 subscribers and over a million streams with around 40 episodes. And that's, that's why we thought we, when you create something from heart and uh, something that there is a gap and you fill that with your content, that really works and we have seen that in millennial Kavi. so it's been an incredible journey uh, and i was uh, also uh, listening to a few and it's it is one of the the top podcasts uh yeah. on geo Savin, and i urge everybody to listen to everyone's podcast uh, on this platform <laughs> but a lot of people i meet they think oh yeah i don't want to do podcasts i have to buy one lakh for a microphone i gotta spend 50k making a studio and you yourself you have a you know you're outside right now um, you know, Murnal, we see she has made the studio on the side with some of the foam boards and things. But this is the message I want people to know that anywhere in the world, India also, if you want to do it, there's nothing really stopping you. You just need a cell phone and some decent editing skills that you learn in five minutes on YouTube. Absolutely. In fact, uh, with your cast, that's one of the Geosound podcasts as well, you, you get so many tools to edit your voice. In fact, uh, since lockdown, since March, We've got around 10 episodes released for uh, Millennial Kavi, specifically recorded for like lockdown phase. And we only, we couldn't get to studios. So I remember doing this at around 4 a.m. in the morning when everybody's asleep so that you get that crisp, non-disturbing sound and you know, go under four blankets with my Bluetooth earphones, holding it like this mm. and using a tea strainer as a synthesizer so that the breath doesn't go through. So all, what do you say, the Indian jugad, <laughs> And Indian then going into blanket yeah, yeah. and then recording it. <laughs> And, and, and the, my neighbors thought that probably the house was haunted. There is a strange sound coming around 4 a.m. in the morning. But then, yes, you, yeah, you don't, yeah. yes, the equipment, yes, that will help you. But then the, the one thing that you need is the idea, the idea that can strike and the content that you can deliver, that's it. Definitely. And, you know, as the other panelists were saying, consistency. You know, most people, Correct. they do two or three episodes. They don't know if anyone listens and then they give up. But people are coming. You just have to give it time. So... Um, shifting gears uh, a little bit, um, Nidhi, maybe we can start with you. Uh, all of us have talked about 2020 a little bit. Um, what a year it's been, right? <laughs> so how has your journey with regards to making content and thinking of content and, you know, getting your podcast do, uh, out there, how has it been uh, different or challenging or surprising in a good way for you in 2020 with everything that's happening, lockdown, pandemic, staying at home, that sort of thing? It's been a great year because I got thinking as to, you know, when I started planning my content after post lockdown, before that, yeah, there were satires. I, I didn't do any negative kind of stories, but after that, I was very, very mindful that I would only do stories that were positive, full of life and normal life. For myself, I thought that I'm just going to do the stories of a world that has been to make people feel that uh, it'll all be back one day. This is our world as well. <laughs> so things do happen normally. Uh, Manal, how has uh, it been for you with either um, you know, Nidhi talked about, um, you know, from the, the kind of storytelling, but you obviously, you guys do many languages and you're in Bangalore. 
And so how, how has 2020 kind of shaped your so narrative? 2020 has been quite an insightful year, even for us. So it was like a mixed bag. So our listenership increased quite a lot during uh, the entire lockdown and the entire year. At the same time, uh, uh, we had new partnerships with brands like GeoSavan, with which we did some exclusive shows. And in fact, a lot of new audience uh, came uh, to the platform and listened to content. So uh, we found audiences listening even to our regional content like Telugu, Kannada, which was not the case before. And as well as we reached out to tier two cities like Jabalpur, Agra, Ahmedabad, Kanpur, etc. So uh, we realized that podcasting was just not limited only to the you know, metro cities, but also people in other parts of India were enjoying listening to the content. And uh, I can say the, uh, we found the ears and the audience at that stage. Okay, wonderful. And yeah, and you touched upon uh, another good point, which is a lot of people think with podcasting, especially in India, it's just Hindi and English, just Hindi and English. But the reality is that most of the listenership and most of the people who come to these platforms are looking for things because you can go a lot deeper. Like, do you want 100% of 100 million or do you want like 1% of like 1 billion? You know, if you divide people. So sometimes you can go a lot deeper with a smaller group like everybody in Tamil Nadu. And, you know, I know Tamil is like one of the most popular languages, uh, you know, on Geo Savan along with Hindi and English. So. I think uh, you're definitely, uh, that's definitely the, the right way to think. We say, you know, go small to go big. Uh, and I think that's a, a great strategy for anybody podcasting. And Rakesh, uh, getting back to you, you started in 2020, correct? Or late 2019? 2019 was so, I left my job at uh, BP. It was quite a well-earning job and something that's a decision you don't take when you're around 34 you plan things you settled but i decided to take a plan so everything was calculated lockdown was something like an asteroid coming from like nowhere nobody predicted it could happen so when mm-hmm. that happened especially with poetry with poem uh, that involves a lot of observations uh, and and especially for a, a content like millennial kavi it completely relies on observing people and how day to day the life is uh, we have topics like uh, you know, traveling in a traffic, a day without mobile, uh, life in an office. So it's all about observing people and creating content accordingly. And all of a sudden, we are locked in our houses. <laughs> Not, and, and like next four months, the content that we had planned was all about uh, March, April, May was like a vacation time in general. If, if Corona didn't, didn't happen. So our content was all about ticket list traveling, uh, how to plan budget vacation and, and poetry is related to that. And we were like, out of topics like what to do we cannot like leave shows about <laughs> traveling and vacation and when people are locked in their homes yeah so we, we will that, do that, a that fake, was kind fake of a yeah yeah so <laughs> we com- completely changed uh, our narrative and the way we were delivering our content so we started uh, focusing more on content that is that was really happening so we had episodes like go corona go uh, when will the vaccine come uh, life in a zoom meeting and uh, uh, whatsapp groups in lockdown such hilarious topics and that connected I, I remember at at one time the streams were going really low like below 10 or 8,000 per, per episode and then all of a sudden we had this corona special episode and vaccine special episode and it, it connected so I think that will happen whenever a pandemic or a, a world war like situation would happen people would always turn to art and artists have this responsibility that you know without any cape or wings you have to save the world and, and, and the messages that we received after that like I was to get those DMs that, uh, you know, and I missed lockdown and all these news channels. This is one podcast we listen to and see, we feel good. We feel like it's chilled. It's all good. So I think that that uh, option we never explored. We always created content in advance, uh, probably thinking that this is how it's going to be. But the lockdown phase, the corona phase, it made us rethink. Nothing is permanent. You need to be creative every day. Situations might change and you need to adapt and then create according to what situation has, has come to you. And Ra- Rakesh was saying, oh, they only had 10,000 listeners. And I'm thinking that's one of my better episodes. Yeah, <laughs> so, like I'll, I'll take that any day. But I, I do uh, notice what you said that um, definitely listenership has increased substantially because people are, are bored or people 
aren't uh, working the way they used to, or maybe they, they work from home and they put on the headphones. So when it comes to the actual content, like what is your process like? So uh, when we create the content, first and foremost, we have an yearly calendar. So for 2021, practically we would have made the calendar for the next year. And for the full year, yes, the full year. So we okay. wa- work in a batch process. So for a specific show, we would outline the episodes that we are going to come up with and then the content would be created. And we would start with basically one single show to begin with in one month and then have the entire calendar, uh, dedicate the entire process flow, as we said. We have streamlined the process in terms of uh, content writing to uh, narration to editing. So it follows the entire process flow in that similar manner. And every month we take up one show and uh, create the content for the entire calendar. So that's the way we batch it. It becomes much more easier because then it is mechanical and because once we have uh, had the RSS feed and everything ready, then it's just a matter of time. And then we are not dependent on, you know, last moment oopses. So that's the way we have planned and it has worked out for us quite well. Sure. And uh, Nidhi, similar uh, sort of process or do you do it in a, in a different fashion? So it's a lot of networking with the good authors because quality is something that I will not compromise on, quality of content. And it has to be engaging. It has to have uh, multiple characters. That's what I really enjoy. And I want to engage because this is a pet project. It is a passion project for me. I would like to engage more and more listeners. And it has definitely gone up after, you know, during the lockdown as well. But my, my whole mandate is Hindi literature. So I'm very foc- very clear about this whether it's old or new. So if it's old, then obviously I have to dig out for the copyright free. I, a lot of people do, but I, I'm not comfortable doing that kind of a thing. And But I have been fortunate that way because um, when my podcast picked up or rather it was in the process of picking up. So there's a Bollywood writer, blockbuster writer, not just any. Then there's, a, there's the head of a primary uh, cultural organization of the country. Then there's a senior officer gentleman from AIR. Then there's a HOD from a known university in Delhi. So these are the kind of people, I don't know how, it just happened. And they all came on board and just were so generous, generous enough to hand me their books with just writing a comment there with love. Please do whatever you want. Despite that, of course, you know, I take that uh, permission on email as well. So, you know, that's how I source my content because for me, uh, looking out, definitely it's a lot of networking, very personal stuff and uh, getting good writers on board. So using that, then I'll transition to uh, Rakesh, not the same question, but a little bit somewhat related because Nidhi was mentioning how, you know, basically if you just do it somehow, I don't know, the universe or whatever, people hear about it and your emails start coming in and you wonder like, this was just an idea and now, you know, authors and Bollywood people and, and so forth. So in terms of uh, marketing, um, let's say marketing, monetization and engagement, um, you know, feel free, anybody, but we can start with you, Rakesh, is how do you go about making this a business? Is it on branding? Is it reaching for guests who want to monetize or promote something or is it not discovered yet or is it just listenership and maybe ad revenue or is it still a work in progress? Yes, uh, it, it would take time for as of now for business collaborations to come in and uh, probably, you know, considering uh, collaborating or probably getting along with artists to promote their brand. It definitely needs to have listenership. It definitely needs to have numbers because you know, probably the moment client approaches, the first thing that they ask is, can you give us your insights? Uh, sure. What is the number of subscribers that they have and, and the number of streams that they have? So, our first, our primary focus was to create a content that's consumable and probably people start subscribing to it. And and uh, probably recently on Diwali, we had our first collaboration with uh, one of uh, the online poker games, Adda 52. And we, we kind of created a customized portal for them, keeping in mind our audience, Diwali celebrations and brand. So that was a breakthrough that we achieved after like probably nine months after launching the podcast that we finally have a brand. But then it will be somehow like if it comes to monetizing, uh, it will be about numbers. Uh, mm-hmm. Sadly, fortunately, unfortunately, but yes. Because the moment, even if I'm, uh, a brand is looking to collaborate on Instagram, the first thing that they ask for is insights. So mm-hmm. it's definitely about you, your content, the way you want to express things. That is definitely, that's 
probably has to be at the pedestal. You know, that's also one thing that maybe is a little more unique to our India story because we are Indian. It's like, hey, you know, how much are you uh, getting paid for this? Or is there money in this? You know? Correct. Um, okay. We are like but, quite crazy about numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But whether, but what people should know, which you mentioned, is if you make the content first, then eventually the money will sort itself out. But nobody is going to pay you if you don't have listenership. Um, and uh, Munal, maybe, uh, you know, we'll get to you in a second. If, be curious on how you also use social media and uh, other internet channels to either direct people to GeoSavin or where you host your feed. Because people don't realize once the podcast is done, it's not just upload to GeoSavin, forget. Now it's you take half a day or one hour and you make an Instagram story from 15 seconds and you make a, a WhatsApp thing and you send it on email or whatever. So um, Rinal, what's kind of your, taking it from IT, what's your deployment process or like how do you go to production, I guess? So uh, first, it has always been an organic growth for us. So it has been the audience which has discovered us in the initial years. But uh, apart from that, for, from the social media aspect, it has been Instagram, Facebook, uh, uh, you know, videos that we have made. And uh, at the same time, Twitter has worked for us. So anytime an episode is live, we promote it on Twitter. Uh, it's uh, Gatha Stories Twitter handle that we promote that. So, and we have a, a subscriber base, a WhatsApp subscriber base. So they normally get any new story or content which is out. So this has been some of the ways uh, with which we promote our content and that has worked for us very well. Yeah. And that's a, another good point on Twitter because oftentimes when other things are going on in the public conversation, you can piggyback on those topics on Twitter. People think, uh, since a lot of people don't know what podcasting is, but I know in my own journey, not only making podcasts, but listening to many has helped me kind of grow as an individual, you know, whether it's, in mental health or entertainment or culture or whatever, um, I've embraced longer content and I've embraced kind of the productivity and everything that comes with hearing all these things. So, um, you know, any final words uh, from anyone as we kind of sign off and feel free to, you know, do an outro or say any of your Twitter or Instagram handle or anything. But um, Nidhi, maybe we can start with you. So first and foremost, I would like to thank GeoSavan for organizing this roundtable. A very big thanks to GeoSavan. And of course, a big thanks to Sanjay also for being uh, such an amazing moderator. It was brilliant interacting with uh, Rakesh and Rinal and knowing about your works. Um, thank you for enriching my journey as a podcaster. And the only thing I wish to do is I wish to reach out to more people regardless of uh, you know, what is monetized, what is not, because I want to keep fulfilling my dream of bringing good quality Hindi literature to more and more listeners. Also hoping that I will inspire people to write Hindi literature as well. That is my only wish. And yes, I promise to be more proactive on my social media handles. Nidhi Basu Voice is my Insta handle. Voiceovers by Nidhi Basu is my Facebook handle. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Nidhi. Uh, Munal, uh, feel free. Yeah, thank you, Chio Savin, for organizing this uh, roundtable 2020. And thanks a lot, Sanjay, for being an excellent moderator. And I certainly enjoyed our discussion around podcasting along with Rakesh and Nidhi. And the insights for me is for 2020 when I want to have more of, you know, audience listening to the great content that we are producing. And since uh, for new podcasters who want to create new content, the message from my end is since this is a great space to be in and people, uh, there is a statistics which says that every day almost close to 100 new episodes are being created in different Indian languages across genres. So yeah, if you are passionate, just the way Nidhi says that she's really passionate about uh, Hindi storytelling. If you have some passion in you, please go ahead, create great content. And we have an excellent team supporting everywhere in India. So please go ahead with that. Thank you. Amazing. Uh, thank you. I used to watch this roundtable conferences by Rajiv Masan. I uh, you know picking all the Bollywood stars. And, and I used to think that there will poets or artists. There will be a roundtable. So thank you, Jio Savan, for making this possible, giving us this experience. And uh, Sanjay, you did an excellent job. Thank you. All I would say is, you know, probably 
what an amazing uh, uh, experience from all the podcasters. Like, अगर मैं call center में बैठे बैठे निधि जी Bangalore में और बाकी सब जो जहाँ बैठे हुए हैं अगर वहीं रह जाते तो we would have never created what we have created. So whatever idea you have for 2021, get started. At least the biggest regret that you will ever have in life is that you never started. So that is going to be my mantra and probably my message as well. Whatever you think, at least take the first step. You probably will be successful than most of people who probably would never think about doing that. जैसे आप एक कदम आगे बढ़ाते हैं, आप उस भीड़ से आगे निकल आते हैं जो कभी घर से निकलेगी नहीं. Thanks so much, everyone. Um, fantastic insights and experiences you all shared. I uh, I know I took a lot away from this as well, just hearing all of your stories and. Um, yeah, I want to thank uh, the Geo Sovereign team for putting this uh, panel together, and uh, yeah, I real I really appreciate uh, all of your time, and have a wonderful and excellent 2021. Same to you, Sanjay. Wish you the same, Sanjay. Bye. Bye.